Sochi District announced that Grade 1 Administrative Unit. Da Nang, nearly 600 volunteers and liaison officers serving APEC Economic Leaders Week. Da Nang promotes investment attraction into IT sector. The RT News is happy to have you watching today. On September the 26th morning, Sonja District solemnly held a ceremony to be announced at the Grade 1 Administrative Unit. Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee, Nguyễn Ngọc Tung, attended the ceremony and expressed his joy along with local officers and residents. Founded in 1997, after 20 years, Sochi District has achieved strong developments in all aspects of economy, society and urban infrastructure. The economic structure shifted sharply towards services, industry, agriculture. Based on the classification criteria, Sochi District is eligible for being recognized as the first grade administrative unit. Specifically, the district has a population of over 217,000 people. The natural area of over 63 square kilometers, the budget revenue and expenditure ratio at 68 percent, the proportions of industry, construction and services in the economic structure of 95.25 percent, and the percentage of trained worker as over 70 percent. In the coming years, Sochi District sets target of building the district into a modern urban district and a center of tourism, services and marine economy of Da Nang City. Chairman of the Municipal People's Committee, Huynh Đức Thơ, has just requested advisor departments to organize Invest Da Nang 2017 Forum on two days, October the 14th and 15th. The forum provides the opportunity to approach and invite investors to accompany the city in the future development path, directly introduce and announce investment policies as well as commitment and competence of the government and administrative system in Da Nang to facilitate enterprises, manufacturing and business operation. More importantly, as the forum will be held right before the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017, this will be the best opportunity for Da Nang to take advantage of the various communications activities of this event to promote the image and brand of a dynamic city. According to official figures of the city's APEC Steering Committee 2017, nearly 500 students in their second or third year of local universities have been mobilized to serve as volunteers for APEC Economic Leaders Week. In addition, the city has also mobilized 80 liaison officers who are civil servants and employees of the city's department, agencies and units involved in the event. Accordingly, liaison officers and volunteers are required to be able to communicate efficiently in English or in other languages such as Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Spanish and Thai. Moreover, they are also provided with training courses on general knowledge of APAC, including the host countries and other members' economies, conference history, the conferences taking place in Vietnam this year, as well as on how to deal with some common issues, liaison functions and duties, necessary contacts for field trips and working with the pre-advanced visit delegations, etc. Currently, about 43% of nearly 700 IT enterprises in Da Nang specialize in manufacturing, outsourcing and providing software services. Notably, many domestic and international software enterprises based in Da Nang City specialize in providing software outsourcing services to the foreign markets of Japan, North America and Europe. In addition, the aspect of digital content has also achieved high growth rate and occupied large market share over the past few years, especially in the field of outsourcing digital data under the business process, software testing, and online gaming. They are also the city's strength that Da Nang will pay focus on calling for investment in the IT sector at the Da Nang Investment Forum 2017. As forecasted by the Vietnam Market Research and Development Consultancy Department CBRE, by the end of this year, the Da Nang's hotel sector will have an additional 3,800 rooms from 31 new hotels, bringing the total number of hotel rooms to more than 16,800, up by 40% compared to the same period of 2016. Notably, this is also the highest increase in hotel room supply in the 2014-2017 phase. This shows that the rapid development of local 
tourism sector has led to the massive growth of accommodation system to meet the growing demand of tourists. According to the forecast, in the next two years, Dana will have more than 19,600 rooms in the segment of three to four star hotels. The Da Nang Tour Guide Club has officially changed its name to Da Nang Tour Guide Association, which consists of four tour guide clubs of different languages. As of August 2017, Da Nang has 3,108 tour guides, including more than 1,000 ones in Vietnamese language and nearly 2,000 ones having international certificates. Over the past time, the club has done a good job in advocating the state's policies and guidelines on tourism activities as well as coordinating with the Travel Management Division of the city's Department of Tourism to hold open talks on border and island sovereignty for tour guides as well as cooperating with the destinations to timely solve negative issues which affect the image of local tour guides and the city's tourism. Vietnam currently has nearly 50 million internet users, accounting for over 53% of its population, higher than the global average of 46.64%. In Da Nang, according to the detailed planning until 2020 of the Da Nang Post and Telecommunications sector, which were issued by the city's People Committee, Da Nang sets the target that by 2020, the number of internet subscribers will reach 39 per 100 people and the percentage of internet users will be at 78% of its population. 50% of villages and suburban communes have free internet access points so that people can get access to IT, use public administrative services, use scientific and technical information to improve production capacity and people's knowledge. In recent years, the beaches in the east of Da Nang have shown signs of pollution, which directly affects the local tourism activities. However, the environmental sector sampled seawater at 11 outlets in the city's eastern side and Da Nang Bay. According to the analyzing results of wastewater discharging into the sea, the basic parameters are under the allowable limits of standard. In order to meet the needs of collecting wastewater, According to the Municipal Department of Natural Resources and Environment, in the next five years, the urban wastewater collection and treatment infrastructure will be synchronously invested within the framework of the project on sustainable development and water environment improvement. At the same time, a wastewater collection system for eastern area will be developed. It is expected that in the coming time, the city will build a continuous automatic seawater monitoring network to take initiative initiative in timely announcing local people and tourists so that they could feel comfortable relaxing and taking part in entertainment activities on local beaches. And that's it for today's news. Remember to check out drt.danang.vn to watch our programs. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.